Welcome to this tutorial showing you how to create a piece of artwork in response to the artist Liz Orton. And you'll see in Photopia I have already opened up a square project by going um, new and then choosing print and A4 and then changing the height and the width to be the same 297 and then clicking create. Okay, I have also opened up a number of photographs of landscapes that I've taken on various trips over the last few years, ready for action. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do on my project is go to view and add guides, and I'm gonna check percent and do 50 by 50 and click okay. And that gives me a center point to work with. Okay, now I'm gonna to go to my first landscape photo and I'm going to choose a shape and go to custom shape and that custom shape is going to be that first triangle in the top left there and I'm going to draw that short and wide across my picture and then I'm going to use the arrow tool to rotate that to a vertical position and then move it to a point in my photograph that I want to take and mask off. Okay, then I'm going to use the magic wand tool and I'm going to click on the shape so it masks off that shape. I'm then going to go to the layer that has the photo on and I'm going to press Control C to copy that particular mask and Control V on my project and it's appeared in there. And then I'm going to use the arrow tool to move it so the point is at the center of the image and the image is definitely in the middle of the vertical guide. Okay, I'm then going to do the same again on a new photo. I'm going to grab that shape, that same shape, so rectangular select tool on that shape layer and draw around it and then control C, go back to my new photo, control V, that into my photo and just use the arrow tool to make that an appropriate size. Again, I'm going to move that over a piece of the photograph that I want to copy, get the magic wand and select the shape, go back to the photo layer, control C to copy, control V to paste into my project. And again, same as before, the point should be in the middle of the guides and then you move it to the center using the center guide. I'm then gonna grab that handle in the middle there and I'm gonna pull it down to the bottom middle which is going to allow me to rotate the shape with the point staying where it should be. Okay, and we'll do that again. Rectangle select over the shape, Control C to copy the shape. Go to a new photo, Control V to paste that shape in resize the shape and move it to a point in the photo you want to copy and then grab the magic wand tool click on the shape to mask off that shape go back to the photo layer control c to copy control v to paste that bit of the photo into your project and the same as the last time you're putting the point at the bottom resizing it so it's in the middle and reaches the top and then grabbing that handle down to the middle and then using the arrow tool to rotate it. And because the handle's in the middle, it stays with the point in the middle of the page while you rotate it. Okay. Then we're just gonna keep repeating that process with all our photos. So we're gonna go to the shape. We're gonna control C because it's already selected and then find a new photo, control V to paste that in. And we're gonna resize that using the arrow tool. Move your shape to an appropriate place on the photo that you want to copy at the right size. Then go to the magic wand tool, mask off that area, go back to the photo, control C to copy that bit, Control V to paste it into the new project. Then using the arrow tool to make sure it's in the center and an appropriate size. 
and then grabbing that handle in the middle and dragging it to the bottom middle and then rotating it on that point to be the next segment. And this one I'm just making a bit bigger so it matches up with that bit of land next to it. And in fact, I might change the size of my first couple as well, just to make them fit as well. It's up to you whether you have the land fitting in each segment. Um, you can have the kind of contrast of them all being different sizes, or you can try and make it so that they all kind of fit together. Okay, that's the first four bits. Let's go to a new photo now. Select the shape again, control C to copy it, control V to paste it into my new photo, choose an area I want to have copied, magic wand, control C on the right layer, back to the project, control V to paste that in. And then as per all the other segments, resizing so it's in the center and then grabbing the handle and bringing it down to the bottom middle and then rotating on that point. And this one will need resizing as well to match the others. And because you're resizing it, you'll find it slips out of alignment a bit. You just need to make sure that, that point goes back into the middle again. And I'm matching land with cloud this time, which I think is pretty cool. Okay. Okay, so now I'll do that one last time so I don't bore you with repetition. So grabbing my shape, control C to copy it if you selected it, control V to paste it in to your new photo. Choose a point of the photo that you want to copy. Grab the magic wand tool once you're happy. There we go, magic wand tool, select that shape. Go to the photo layer, control C to copy, control V to paste that into this project and then move it so the point is in the middle and stretch it up and then move it so that the shape is in the middle of the page and the guide. Okay, then grab the middle handle, drag it down to the bottom middle and then rotate to the next segment. Okay, right, rather than bore you, I am going to cut ahead now and you'll see I've done lots more. Now you could, if you wanted, just keep going and grab more and more new photos until you filled the whole circle, but you could do what I'm doing here, which is to select all of those layers and right click merge layers so you've got them all in one place. Then right click duplicate layer on that layer so you have it again and then moving the middle handle to the middle again, to that middle point, I can then use the arrow tool to rotate that whole shape round, rotating on that point to get to fill the next section, if you will. I'm then gonna duplicate that layer as well. And again, moving the middle point to the middle of the page or project. There we go. And then grabbing the handle and rotating it so that the shape meets again. And then this one overlaps, so I'm going to drag it down underneath the original layer. And there you have it. All of the or segments are then in there. And then so we can merge those layers together. So they are one layer. Sometimes it takes a bit of time. There you go. And what I'm going to do now is grab the ellipse select tool and from the top left corner, pressing shift, I'm going to drag to the bottom right corner. And if I press shift, I know it's a circle and that selects a circle, which I'm then going to invert. So select invert and that then selects everything else and I can press delete and that gets rid of all of the 
stuff outside the circle. I'm then going to make another little circle in the middle and move that to the middle point using the guides to help me and then press delete on that as well and that gets rid of the middle. I can then go to view and clear guides to get rid of the guides and that is this piece done and dusted. I hope you find this tutorial helpful.